Good day, everyone. It's natural living with Marx and Sun. So, Max, tell me, what are we doing? Well, we are getting... Are you really filming? Yeah. All right. We're getting material. <laughs> so, you can see here... Uh, this is cheap wood that we will use for the floor. Some more, because you saw that already. And these are the pipes that we're gonna uh, make the light ring with. Yay! Getting the materials! We've got our light dome, we just got it, it was just delivered. It's uh, from, uh, from the inside, from here to here, it's uh, 160 and on the outside it's 176. Uh, it's super huge, uh, it also it looks super, super good. That it's like super clear, you can see my hand like super clearly. Awesome thing. Um, it is made out of plexiglass, uh, and we. It was not so cheap, but we hope that we will have it for a long time. And uh, yeah, it's really cool. It's really big. It lets a lot of light in the yurt, and we're looking forward to create the light ring with this as well. We are starting with the floor. <laughs> we marked the middle point over here <clears throat> and we, we did it with a nail oh, the focus the focus we did it with a nail like this and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do half the circle here all around these plates the these ones we got like one. we got uh, pretty cheap from a local farmer and um, that's why we are kind of combining two types of plates because these ones we bought at the do-it-yourself shop I'm here today to show you the um, materials that we've got so far. Uh, one part is the floor. Um, we cut out all the pieces of the floor. Um, this is, for example, the tiniest, tiniest piece of the floor <laughs> that With we've got. With number 18. And we numbered all of them so that we, uh, we can put them together uh, easily when we, um, when we are actually putting up our floor. Here, this material, you can see the different sizes of wood. This is like the big wood, this is the smaller wood. The big wood is for um, to put our floor to put our floor on, so this is really the basis of it, the foundation. Then in between we will put these little little pieces, we will put them like down here. And then here there will be a part of insulation because we decided that it would be the best to also insulate our floor. Um, so that's just a little part on how we will do the basis of our floor. There will be more aspects but we haven't had the, the time yet to get the material. yurts have a kana which is with the lattice wall like this. Uh, we decided to go for a plywood wall uh, because for us it just has several benefits. 
with the insulation because usually yurts they don't they just have a very thin insulation and uh, what we want to have is like a 12 centimeter sheep wool insulation um, so we will do it like this that we're gonna make uh, like sacks uh, out of uh, steam diffusion foil where uh, the sheep wool insulation will be uh, covered in and this will be here on the back and uh, this will be glued to this wall this wall by the way is plywood it's six millimeter thick the height is around uh, 172 centimeters then what we also have here is uh, the wall poles the wall poles have on the two sides they have these uh, types of things you can see here so that the walls can slide in there easily and uh, on the top it's cut in, a, in an angle of 27 degrees uh, because the roof pole will rest on it this is yeah, our solution how to connect the walls together uh, and to make a round out of it because uh, we chose we chose them to be uh, pretty thin, like six millimeters is really not uh, not uh, thick, so that we can bend them uh, to make it to make it round in the end. If you liked our video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We promise that we will make a lot more videos about our yurt process, and we are so happy to share. And don't forget forget don't forgive don't forget to give our video a thumbs up yay Beep. yay